like games that lay their cards on the table right up front, you know? And this is one of those games. Still, there's people who'll be like, But what's the object? How many bosses must I face? Uh, don't overthink it. Just do not fall. Do Not Fall is an action puzzler for the PlayStation 3. It's also f***ing weird. Concept is you're this creepy looking rabbit. Ready? I don't know, Go. maybe your cousin, the Easter Bunny, just got all the attention when you were kids or something? Now you're out to prove you're just as much a bunny as he is. So, you know, you work inside this vending machine and make drinks for people. This is actually a documentary shot in Technicolor. So there are more than 70 levels, and as levels are off to do, they get weird. The basic premise is this, there are platforms hovering in the sky. They have doors on them. It's your job to get to the doors and open them. Along the way you have to find the keys, too. Sounds simple enough. Oh, but m most of the blocks fall apart when you step on them, and they're spiked balls of death. You know, no biggie. The game splits its levels into individual worlds, each of which has its own theme. And the themes aren't terribly original aesthetically, but they do manage to keep the gameplay fresh. Each world introduces clever new ideas and enemies to keep the concept from getting stale. And as a result, it never does. The game's fun from start to finish. A part of the reason for that is how well it plays. Your controls are pretty much limited to movement with the analog stick and jumping. You can also do a little dash that breaks through certain objects, and if you dash after jumping, it's like a long jump. But otherwise, that's it. That's all you have to overcome these puzzles. And that's what's so great about Do Not Fall. There's no unnecessary nonsense in terms of controls or mechanics, just simplicity, which puts the puzzles in the focus. <laughs> You know, the game looks good too, uh, my only issue is that some of the art feels a little bit DreamWorks, I guess, and specifically the rabbit, and that's, I mean, I mean, there's no nice way of saying it, that's an, that's an ugly freaking rabbit. Hey, no wonder your cousin got all the attention, with chocolate and good looks, that's a double threat! Ready, go! And I'll tell you what, the game gets an A for effort, if only for including multiplayer modes. You get to play as different characters from the single player mode, only with different variations on the do not fall gameplay. So, soccer, obviously, with blocks falling as you run on them. While there's not much depth or structure to them, they're actually a lot of fun. At the very least, it's a great little addition. You know, there was a Game Boy Advance game called Frogger's Adventures 2 that was basically the same idea, only nowhere near as good. Do Not Fall gets just about everything right. The difficulty is perfect, the controls are solid, the level designs are fantastic. It's like everything I love about puzzlers and platformers combined. It's alright, it's alright. Break the rules and fall head first for Do Not Fall. But then don't fall after that, that would be a problem.